Hello everyone, this is Lydia and this is a video response for Colby's 1981. I am new to her channel and she is hosting a challenge giveaway and I don't know her first name, sorry. But I'm sure I will get to know her and um, she participated in my altered TP challenge. So I subbed to her and then she posted this really fun challenge so head on over there ladies and play so you are to alter a tic tac container and you have to use washi tape somewhere on your project and it has to be functional so the lid still has to be able to open and close and create a video response and link it to her video and I believe it ends on February 28th I will add a link down below just in case you want to play along. So I thought this was a really unique and fun challenge. And um, I kind of overdid it like I always do. But I think my project turned out super cute. So let me quickly go through my um, product list. You can fast forward if you wish. But this is helpful for my new crafters. So I used these, this Tim Holtz die. And this is the gears. And I used the medium size one. And then I, again, cut it from book page and glued it onto the chipboard piece. And I distressed it with some black soot. Because I'm working with metal to metal, I used the E600, which I hate using because it smells to high heaven. Um, for my stamped, for the wings, I used this stamp, and I think this is Inka Dinka Do. And it has these pretty wings here. So I stamped that with the Versamark. Thank you, Lori Elemenia, for supplying that to me. And then I um, embossed it in this. Who makes this? Stampin' Stuff. And the color is Sterling Silver Opaque. And then you had to use washi, so I did a combination of um, Tim Holtz paper tape which has these um, pretty butterfly moths, whatever those things are. And this is the washi tape I used, this gray chevron. I used a piece of film strip from Tim Holtz. Some flowers that I received in racks from Archana and Karen. Thank you, ladies. And then I used this. These are Prima. These are really old. I've had them in my stash forever. And they're like really stiff and um, a silver color kind of metallic and then it came with these sheer ones in gray so my altered um, container is uh, I tried again to do um, steampunk style because I really love it and I'm just trying to get into the the swing of how to do steampunk and I use these little um what are these called screw eyes by Tim Holtz for my container I use some of this pretty bling I think I got this from Karen. I used the domino. And then I used um, a little bauble by Tim Holtz. And some gears by Tim Holtz. So let me show you my altered Tic Tac container. It turns out super cute. So here it is. Who knew? Who would know that this is the Tic Tac container? So here's the um, the gear, the chipboard piece. And see, I glued it in the back here. And I added this pretty black flower that I received from Archana. Thank you, Archana. And there's the uh, book print paper that I layered on top of the chipboard. And then here are the wings that I stamped and embossed. And then I did the edging in uh, black soot. And then I took some black chain and I wrapped it around the gear. And here's a pretty um, brad, a filigree brad with a little bead center. And as you can see, it's still functional. And I'm going to use this to store tiny gears. They fit in there and now I'll know where they are when I go to use them. I just need to buy some more. And here's the um, the tape. So I have the Tim Holtz. I alternated Tim Holtz, washi, Tim Holtz, and then the washi. And I added the bling here and up on top. 
Here's that sheer flower. And I added a tiny rose that I received from Karen, JB Lady Scrapper 48. Thank you, Karen. This piece here is um, one of the new recollection embellishments. It has the image of that pretty lady. And then I added another gear here. And here's um, a clock hand and a tiny brad. Here's the film strip. And you can see there's another gear right behind that. There's that metallic flower by Prima. And then here's another gear. And then um, on the chain here, I received this from Wanda, who is Boxy Bell here on YouTube. Thank you, Wanda. And she had filled it. I don't know if she purchased it like this or if she filled it with all these tiny little watch gears and parts. And um, I can still, you know, pull the, the cork out and, you know, use it as I need it. And then I added the little Tim Holtz bauble and another gear on the chain. And then there's the domino. I glued that to the bottom. So that is my altered Tic Tac container. Come on and focus. I think it turned out super cute. Thanks for watching, everyone. Post a comment if you wish. Subscribe and head on over to her channel and join the fun. Have a fabulous day. Bye.